See if this conversation sounds familiar. Someone says to you, I just shared that document with you on Google. And you're like, but where did it go? They say, well, go into your email and click on the link. And you can click on the link and it goes to the document. But when you go to Google Drive, where did it go? You ask your friend, they don't know. And that's where you're stuck. If that sounds like a familiar conversation to you, then you'll like our discussion about finding and organizing shared documents in Google today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. I'm Jennifer Stewart, digital productivity trainer and owner of Gateway Productivity. Today I wanna to teach you how to find and organize shared files in Google Drive. It can be really confusing when that email comes in that says somebody shared something with you, you can click on the link and get to the document, but when you go to your Google Drive, it's very confusing as to what you're looking at and how to find the things that people have shared with you and to organize them with the things that you already have. First, let's familiarize yourself with Google Drive and how it's laid out. What you see here is your My Drive area. The way to know that is to look on the left-hand side and what is in blue is where you are. So you're in the My Drive area. This is your area in Google Drive. You can organize it however you would like. And we'll talk in a future video about how to organize this. Today, we'll just talk about those things that are shared with you. What a lot of people have confusion around is the next section, which is shared with me. Let's look at that section so we can understand it a little better. The shared with me section only shows the things that have been shared with you. So things that other people have shared with you in your Google Drive. What it means for someone to share something with you is that they are the owner, they are the creator most of the time. Sometimes they can share things with you that other people own, but oftentimes it's something they own that they are sharing with you and they can determine what your access is. You can either make changes to the document or just view the document. It depends on your agreement with that person or what they feel comfortable with as far as editing access. This is the place that you can go to when someone has shared a document with you. If you don't want to always click on the link that they sent to you in your email, you can go to your Google Drive, go to the shared with me and find that document. But what if you want to organize that along with your own documents? That's a valid concern and a, what a lot of people want to do. What you want to keep in mind is that the shared with me area is just for compilation of the things that were shared with you. This is not where we want to organize our documents. And in fact, it's very hard to do so. Plan on the shared with me being an area where you go to find the document that was shared with you. And then if you want to organize it in with your own, you're going to create a shortcut into your My Drive area. Let's look at how to do that. Once you've found the document that you want to put the shortcut in your My Drive, you're going to right click on the document and it can be any kind of document and you'll look for add shortcut to drive. Once you click on that, a box will pop up asking you where you want to save this. And nine times out of 10, you're going to want the My Drive option. We won't go into the other ones right now. If you have any questions about those, you feel free to reach out to me. At this point, if you already have folders in your My Drive, you can click on this area here and you can see what you have in your My Drive. You can see I have a grandma's recipes folder. If this was a recipe that was shared with me, I could put it directly in that folder. In this case, I just want it in the My Drive area. So I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to add the shortcut. You can see a box pops up, pops up in the bottom left that says that it's been, a shortcut has been added to your My Drive. So let's go over there to see what that looks like. We'll click back on our My Drive. And now we can see this one at the very beginning is the shortcut. The reason I know that is the little arrow. And let me show you what that looks like closer up. In the blue box, you can see the way that I knew that this was a shortcut to a document in my shared area. That is that tiny little up arrow that you're seeing, kind of a swoop up. This is a great way to tell the difference between items that you own and items that other people own. If you have created a shortcut from the shared area, that means it's owned by someone else. 
Now that this shortcut exists in my drive, I have the opportunity to organize that however I would like. If I want to put that into a folder that I create, I sure can do that. Let's see what that looks like. There are two ways to create a folder, and one of those is to right click and create new folder here, or you can go to new in the upper left hand corner, and the first option that pops up is folder. Either way will create a new folder for you. For our example, this is an audio file. So I'll create a folder that's called audio files. Once I click create, the folder now appears in the folders section, which is kind of in the middle. And a lot of people get confused about how this is laid out. The top section is quick access. That means these are the things that you've recently accessed. And this is an automatic thing. It will automatically populate that with the things that you've used the most recently, which can be very helpful. Your second section is your folder section, and you may not have that if you haven't created folders. And then your files is at the bottom. And you have the option to sort these however you'd like with your sort options. You can see there's name and lots of other options, and you can have it go ascending or descending. Now that I've created the folder, I can choose to move that shortcut into my new folder, audio files. One important thing to keep in mind is that if you have a folder that is shared with other people, and you can tell that by the little person that's on it, you can see right here, Grandma's Recipes is a shared folder for me. If I try to put one of my shared documents into that folder, I need to be mindful of what is shared with whom. My folder is shared with certain people. My document is shared with certain people. If those do not match, then we'll get a message and let's see what that looks like. We can see here that the second document is a shared document. Again, remember that little swooping up arrow is what we're looking for. You can see that down at the bottom left. So I know that this is shared with me. When I click and drag this to the shared folder and let go, here's what I get. This tells me that the people on the folder may not match the people on the document. So I need to keep in mind, is this something that I'm comfortable with everyone seeing who is in that shared folder? If I say to move that, everyone in the folder will now have access to that document. In this case, I realize I've made a mistake and I'm going to cancel this. Since I've chosen to cancel, nothing has happened and the document did not get moved. You'll want to keep this note in mind as you build your folder structure, especially if you plan to have several shared folders. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know about it in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up or share it with anyone you think could benefit from the information. And if you have any follow-up questions, feel free to put those in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you as soon as I can. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below and by clicking the bell icon next to it, you'll receive notifications each Tuesday when a new video is posted. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.